Hello everyone, myself uh, Sachin Rathod, working as assistant professor in mechanical engineering department from Walchen Shock Technology, Solapur. Today we will discuss the selection of the belt part 10 under the subject of machine design 1. The learning outcome of this session is the students will able to design the V belt from the manufacturing catalog. So just we will consider one problem statement from which we will get the design procedure how to select the V belt from the manufacturing data book. So this is a problem statement. A V belt is required for 15 kilowatt power having the speed of 1440 rpm electric motor which drives a centrifugal pump running at 360 rpm for a service of 24 hours per day means we have to convert the speed from 1440 rpm to 360 rpm on which the centrifugal pump is mounted. So here the application is centrifugal, we have to run the centrifugal pump from the electric motor. From space considerations, the center distance should be approximately 1 meter. The distance between input shaft and the output shaft, that is nothing but the distance between electric motor shaft and the centrifugal pump shaft is 1 meter. So we have to determine the belt specification number of the belt, the correct center distance and the pulley diameter. So these are the given data, 15 kilowatt power, speed of the input and the output shaft that given us. The service we have to use for the 24 hours per day, centrifugal pump and the center distance is 1000 mm. So the step number one is to determine the correction factor according to the service that is FA from the design data book. So from these tables we have to find out the service factor FA. So as they had given us the 5 kilowatt power, the speed of the input shaft is 1440 that is a faster pulley and the fan service is 24 hours per day. So according to this we have to find out the service factor FA. So we have to run the centrifugal pump and it is running for the 24 hours per day. So you have chosen the factor service factor is 1.3. So the second step you have to find out the design power. Design power is calculated by using the equation. Design power is equal to FA into transmitted power. So the FA is 1.3 and uh, transmitted power. So step number one, determine the correction factor according to the service from the table. So this is a table from which we have to find out the service factor FA. So this is a given data. Uh, the power is uh, 15, uh, just uh, correct that. The power is 15, the input speed is 1440 rpm and the fan service is 24 hours per day. So by considering the 50 kilowatts, so it comes over 7.5 so it comes under the medium duty uh, and the service we have to use for 24 hours per day so we can select the service factor is 1.3 so in the step number two find out the design power design power for the v belt we can calculate by using the equation fa into transmitted power so transmitted power is 15 into the service factor is 1.3 so you are getting the design power is 19.5 kilowatt step number three determine the cross section of the belt based on the design power and the high speed of the shaft in the rpm from the table so this is a table from which we have to select the proper type of the cross section of the belt so in this table so you are observed that there are the five types of the belts are available a b c d and e so based on the high speed and the design power we have to select proper cross section of the belt so the horizontal line, <coughs> the horizontal axis indicating the power 
and the vertical line indicating the speed of the faster pulley so as the design power is 19.5 kilowatt so this is a line for the horizontal line indicating the design power just i have drawn one line which is passing from 19.5 and the speed of the faster pulley is 1440 rpm just i have drawn the horizontal line so intersecting is at this junction so this is we have to use the b cross section belt so which is ranging from this line so i have selected the cross section of the belt is b type so the cross section of v belt is b type so in the next steps the dimension of the cross section standard cross section belt that is a, we have chosen as a b belt so the pitch width nominal width and the nominal heights are we have to take from this table also the recommended minimum pitch diameter of the pulley is 200 mm and the permissible minimum pitch diameter of the pulley is 125 so you can select the value of the diameter of the smaller pulley which is ranging in between these two or you can select 125 or 200 as a diameter of the smaller pulley so for the b section belt the value is ranging from this to value so you can consider the diameter of the smaller pulley as 200 mm now in the next steps you have to calculate the diameter of the larger pulley by knowing the equations n1d is equal to n2d so this equations we are getting from the relation the speed of the shaft and the diameter of the pulley that speed is inversely proportional to the diameter therefore we are getting n1 by n2 is equal to capital d by small d so from that equations we are getting this so just put the value of n1 n2 and capital small d you will get the value of capital d so capital d is equal to 800 mm so from the standard data book so we have to check out this data so we have selected the b belt 800 is available so you can select the value of the capital d is 800 mm so in the step number 5 calculate the pitch length of the belt so so in the step number 5 calculate the pitch length of the belt so pitch length is calculated by using this equation as the data we are knowing capital d small d and c put that value you will get the length of the belt so we have to check out the standard pitch length from this table so for the b section belt you can select the pitch length of the belt is 3600 mm in the step number 7 find out the correct center distance c by considering the standard pitch length so you can pause this video and you can think about this why it is necessary to find out again the center distance that is called as a corrected center distance so you can think about this so if you put this value in that equations you will get the corrected center distance is 968.118 mm in the step number 8 determine the correction factor for the belt pitch length fc from the given manufacturing data so this is a table from which we have to calculate the correction factor fc so as we are using the b belt and the length of the belt is 3600 so the correction factor fc is 1.10 so i have selected fc is equal to 1.10 in the step number 9 calculate the angle of contact for the smaller pulley so by using this equation we have to calculate the wrap angle put the value of capital d small d and c you will get the wrap angle alpha s is equal to 143.89 degree so you have to find out the arc of contact factor fd from the manufacturing data book so this is a table from the, the manufacturing data book calculate the value of fd so we are getting the value of the fd is 0.905 as the alpha s if you observe that alpha s which is ranging in between these two 142 and 145 so the factor should be the in between these two value so you can consider the factor is 0.0905 so the step number 11 find the power rating of the belt that is the power transmitting capacity of the belt pr so as we are they are given us the speed of the faster pulley is 1440 rpm and the diameter of the smaller pulley is 200 rpm and the b section belt having the speed ratio is 4 so speed ratio is nothing but the speed of the input shaft divided by speed of the output shaft we are getting as a 4 so by using this data 
you have to find out the power rating so the speed of the faster shaft is 1440 rpm so we are getting the diameter of the smaller pulley is 200 mm so it is the value is 5.90 again we have to consider the speed ratio is a 4 so the speed ratio is 2 and over the value is 0 0.46 so 5.90 plus 0 0.46 5.90 plus 0 0.46 you will get the power rating as 6.36 kilowatt so in the last step step number 12 determine the number of the belt so number of the belts we are getting by using this equation so just put this value you will get number of the belt is 3.07 so you can take the whole number as 3 belts so the 3 belts were required for that power transmission so your the final design solution will be obtained as the diameter of the pulley small d is equal to 200 mm diameter of the larger pulley is 800 mm diameter or the belt specification is b3600 lp v belt number of belt required is 3 the center distance is 968.118 mm i have taken this reference as a design of machine element book which is author having vb bhandari thank you